in advance because this angle is weird but welcome back to the channel i am about to add some highlights to my hair more at the back um but this time using no bleach i'm going to be using the high color highlights blonde by l'oreal for dark hair only in ash blonde and 40 volume developer so i've already um, pinned out some of the locks that I'm going to do mostly at the back. You can see the pins here. But what I like to do is tie them off with a rubber band to make sure that I keep them together. So, right, so I'm going to look right here. And yeah, I like to put that together. There's no rhyme or reason. I just kind of look at the strength of the lock and where it's positioned and then decide how it falls and then decide how to do it or if it should be colored. Um, unless something really serious happens. I'm planning not to put any more bleach on my hair. Thanks to YouTube, I'm learning that there are other methods to lighten your hair without using bleach that are a lot safer and less harsh. So this was one of the methods and I just want to try it out. It's summertime, so that means it's coloring time. Just tying off, tying off. And it also lets me know, I use the rubber band because it also lets me know where to stop coloring. Um, there's that. all together. I have one in the middle tied off here, one in the middle back, and then one in the lower back. I have a shower cap to protect the process. So what I usually do is, is take it and then put a little hole. That one's a little big, but it's okay. And pass the locks that I'm going to color through it so that I can color and not worry about the rest of my hair. dollop and then I just eyeballed the cream developer but definitely read the instructions and figure out what works for you I'm gonna come back when I've gotten the consistency just right okay so it's very cream like at this point um, not super watery but I think that also has to do with the developer. I didn't get a liquid developer, I got a cream developer. I feel like it just gets, I feel like it just sticks to locks a lot better, cream developer, but that's just my personal preference. So there you go. Gloves on, 
I make sure I already separated my foil pieces out. And I usually like to get the foil that you can, has like that clear window in it, so you can see how the color is processing. Instead of having to take it all off and then check and then, yeah. So this stuff is pretty strong. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area when applying. Should say to keep it on for 30 minutes. Knowing me, I might do a little more than that because it takes a while for my hair to process. My hair is color resistant, especially at the back. I do talk about it in my previous videos. Um, you guys know I have a color series. For those that don't, well done. I do have a color series playlist. Definitely go check that out. Ooh. Ooh. That's why you need your um your plastic. Change the angle a little bit, but one is down. It should not take long, guys. Okay, guys, I'm already having some regret because I didn't do it before and after, but this is definitely what's up. Um, got my ash blonde, and these roots were actually completely black, and I hope I'm in the frame, but these are completely black. So it gave me a pretty golden brown color, which I'm not mad at. I definitely wanted it lighter, but um, it's okay. It's really okay. I'm not gonna lie. I'm thinking about going back in with some bleach just to actually lighten it. But 
yeah we'll see i don't i don't think i need to do that i don't think i should do that be just like 20 maybe like 15 minutes to get it a little bit more lighter i'm tempted to go back in but i mean if you just want a lifting and a change that's not too like obvious this is definitely the way to go this is definitely the way to go Okay, so the game changed for me when I actually finished washing my hair and let my hair down and saw the locks that I colored among my other locks. You could definitely see the difference. I kind of pointed some of them out to you guys so you could see the ones that were lightened. But I was also able to salvage a picture from the fall of when my hair didn't have as many highlights and was mostly brown so i can definitely see a difference there's just a higher golden tone to the ones that i did touch up the ones that i had previously were more brown now if you're going from black to this color i actually think it would work well because i ended up doing my roots and it looks like a seamless color it is a little bit more lighter on the ends and that's because they were already lifted. But for the most part, from the root of my hair to I would say mid shaft, it looks consistently the same golden brown color and I'm satisfied with it. So for those of you that are thinking about doing highlights, I definitely recommend this brand. I recommend this process. I did process for a little longer and that's because my hair is color resistant but definitely give it a try let me know what your results are and i'll see you guys in the next one bye